Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the windows function in Azure Data Factory. First we will understand where actually we have to use a windows transformation and then with practical we will see how actually we can perform a operation in a Azure Data Factory. So windows function, so in a SQL also we use a windows function right, so it is similar to that only. So in a SQL generally we use a different windows function for example rank, we also use a dense rank, we also use a, a lag we also use a lead these are the different windows functions are available so in a azure data factory if you have to perform a similar kind of the operation what actually we use we can use a windows transformation in a azure data factory so with the help of the windows transformation we can perform any kind of the windows operation like a lead lag and tile cumulative rank these are the operation generally we can perform so where generally we use this all the windows functions so these are the scenario generally we use for taking example suppose you have given a, this particular data set in this data set if you want to find out who is, who is the top four employee employee based on their salary so what actually we will do we will use a, a row number or rank and based on the their salary we will assign a rank for that we will assign a rank who is the top employee who is second top employee who is third top employee like that based on the windows we will try to create one column and this column actually we can use to find out who is the top earning employees so in this kind of the scenario we use a windows function for that similarly if you have to perform a cumulative operation any kind of the cumulative operation so there actually also we use a windows function so how actually we write a SQL query in a SQL so let's try to understand so generally we perform suppose the same kind of the operation you have to find out the ranking so what you will use we use a rank and after that we use a over clause right in over clause suppose if you have to partition or group so in this case what we use we use a partition by partition by column which particular column suppose you want to partition based on the location so you will mention the partition by location and after that we have to sort based on the which particular column you want to show the rank so what i will use order by salary i want to sort based on the salary so i will write that and based on the descending i want to write so i will use the descending and after that from table so this kind of the sql query generally we use in a azure data factory also this all the operation generally you will get to see in a windows transformation so you will get to see like over over means we use a partition for that we use a sort in this case we can mention we based on which particular column we want to sort and after that we get a, a what kind of the operation we want to perform we want to perform a ranking then we can mention the rank if you want to perform a sum of particular salary then also you can mention the sum of salary and all so this all the flexibility we get in a windows function so let's see let's take an example with that example we'll understand that so i have one of the data set this is the employee2.csv data set i have if i show you in a storage account it is available so i have employee id name salary and a location what i will do i want to perform based on the location what is their cumulative salary i want to perform like based on their location what is the top two employee this kind of the scenario i want so how actually we can perform that so i'll open my data factory this also comes under the data flow so i'll go to the data flow click on the new data flow first we will add the source for that we will create a data set it is available in a blob storage so i'll select the blob storage it is csv file so i'll select that i'll create a link service to establish a con con connection after that i will select the subscription i will select the storage account after that i will just click on the create in this case what will happen my source will be ready first we have to select the file path where our file is available so my file is available into this input container so i'll select that and i'll just click on the ok now my source is now ready you can see column 4 if you want to preview first you have to open a data flow debug option and now if you go to the data preview you will be able to preview as of now it is rotating now let's see how actually we can use a windows transformation so click on this plus bottom you can see windows click here in the window you will get a option so in a sql also we use over clause right over here over means it is like a partition so based on which particular column you want to partition i want to partition based on the location you can see we have india and we have uk so let's partition based on the location so i'll select the loc i will give the name as a loc 
so this is the name over means partition which particular partition you want to over now after that sorting from which particular column you want to sort i want to sort based on the salary so i will select the salary column and based on the ascending or descending i want to sort based on the descending so here also we get option to select the descending order arrange by it is unbounded so let it be go to the windows column here we have to write a expression so what is the new column you want to create i want to create a new column as a cumulative salary something i will write cumulative cell and uh, after that expression we have to write so double click here write sum of the salary so based on the location what is the cumulative salary i will calculate sum of salary i will write and i will click on the save and finish you can see it is giving me error so go to the source check for the projection you can see salary it is considering as a string so we'll convert into the integer now if you go to here go to the sum of salary we are not getting any error now let's see based on each location whether we are getting a cumulative salary or not so i'll click on the data preview so what is the output we should get uh, we should get the output like based on india based on their uh, salary what is the cumulative salary based on the descending order first it will show the 20000 and then 20000 then 20000 40000 then 40000 plus 10000 50000 so like that the cumulative salary it will show for the uk based on the ascending order first it will show 24000 then 24000 plus 17000 it will add then 24000 plus 17000 plus 5000 it will add so let's see whether we are getting the same output or not now you can see based on the uk first it is showing the 24000 so if i show you here in a uk location what is the maximum salary 24000 right so it is showing the 24000 plus and after that you can say in a uk it is showing the 41000 how actually 41000 it's coming it is adding a 24000 plus 7000 so that is a nothing but a 41000 Now after that the five thousand is available in UK. So what actually it is doing? Twenty four thousand plus seventeen thousand plus five hundred it is doing, and it is showing the value forty six thousand. So this we call it as a cumulative sum. Means we are actually doing a sum of the all the salary uh, based on the row wise. In India, what is the first salary maximum salary twenty thousand? Then it is adding a twenty thousand plus twenty thousand forty thousand. Then it is adding the forty thousand plus ten thousand. That is a fifty thousand. So like that actually it is showing. so similarly if you have to perform a ranking so in this case what do you will do come here instead of the sum of salary you can write a any a ranking function also for taking example let me write a rank you can also perform a dance rank also click on here uh, data preview refresh that now you should get the value so it is similar to the sql only the same kind of the windows operation we are performing with the help of the here you can see in a uk what is the maximum salary so 24000 is maximum salary so it is assigning a rank 1 Seventeen thousand is second salary, then it is assigning two. Then five thousand is second salary, it is assigning three. In India, what is the maximum salary? Twenty thousand, so it is assigning one. And uh, because we have a two twenty thousand, so it is assigning the same rank because we are using a rank function. And after that, it is assigning a rank three. So, and he, similarly, you can also perform a dance rank operation and all. So, if you have to perform a any kind of the windows function in a sql so that you can use a windows function for that after that we just have to add a sync location in a windows we are performing a ranking right so let's mention the a rank here rank after that go to the sync in the sync what we will do we'll add a data set we'll add a data set and we will use the same link service and after that we will select the path where you want to say i want to save into the output path click on the okay click on the okay after that go to the optimize use a single partition and after that we have to create a new pipeline drag the data flow click on the publish all and after that we will trigger it once the publish will complete so This is the simple step we have to follow. I hope you got the idea. That's it, Indusha. Thanks.